Hello there, Gizmac here, and today I'm going to talk about one thing that I think Rockstar should do for the future of GTA Online, and it sort of relates to how they announce DLCs. Now, this sort of idea is not new, but it's something that Rockstar has not done in a, almost two years, and it feels like Rockstar has sort of gone a little bit more secretive whenever they go about DLCs, and they've sort of relied a little bit more on the community to come up with DLCs, which I feel is not the way that they should go about it. Now this sort of uh, idea has come from whenever I was talking about the Leslie Benzies versus Rockstar lawsuit, and in that, at the end, I mentioned that, you know, Rockstar has, at one, at one point, talked about a story mode DLC, and it was in a Newswire post, and it was called Grand Theft Auto Online Spring Updates. Now this was posted on April 2nd, 2014 so over two years ago this was posted to the newswire and it is one of my favorite newswire posts ever and that may sound weird why, you know why would you like a newswire post but it was so well crafted in my opinion i really did like it um and i wish that rockstar would do more stuff like this now there will be a link in the description but basically what it talks about is it just talked about what they were going to be doing for spring and they haven't done this in a long time Usually now, whenever Rockstar announces a DLC, they'll do it about a week beforehand, but they won't talk about future stuff. Like, um, you know, whenever they announce a DLC, I'll say like Executives and Our Criminals, for example, they announced it about a, about a week, probably less than a week, before the DLC actually came out. And it was cool how they do that, but at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, they didn't mention like anything about new lowriders, or they didn't tease that or anything. Sometimes they'll do it for holiday stuff, but even then holiday stuff is included with that update But uh, yeah, this was just something that I think Rockstar should start doing in GTA Online So imagine back to for any player ha that has been there since uh, April of 2014 uh, You may remember the high life update now this post was made a little bit after the business update I believe I think the business update came out in March and in this post, they start talking about all these other stuff that was going to be coming out for GTA Online. Now, one is the capture creator, uh, which, you know, the creator was already, you know, made, but they had the capture creator, and I think that came out, like, right after this post was made, or, like, re really close to whenever this post was made, and that was the capture creator. And then they also detail a little bit of information on the High Life update. And they say that the High Life update will allow you to expand your foothold in Los Santos in with new high-end apartment options, the powerful bullpup rifle, new wardrobe items, the Dinka Thrust motorcycle, and three new lavish cars to choose from. So it details a little bit, but it doesn't tell you every single thing about the update. It also mentions like the mental state uh, statistic. And I feel like a lot of this kind of stuff would be cool for GTA Online. Let's say they post a new update. And you know, maybe this will, and maybe they put out a post on a newswire, and let's say it was detailing the Saber Turbo. So let's say on that post, and they did that, and then at the end they sort of mention a little bit like, oh, maybe there will be a new update sometime coming soon. We don't want to detail it too much, but here's you know maybe a teaser image, or uh, maybe you know you can expect a few different things. They did that with their uh, Q and A back in May a while back, and I'm hoping that they do another Q and A because they kind of stopped doing those. I just feel like they. They could get a lot more hype if they sort of tease these updates because they don't seem to be doing that. Um, and it really only you only you only really get hype for DLC less than a week before because that's whenever it gets announced. And I would really like it. And sure, maybe the hype could die down if it's announced a month before. But if they don't announce the DLC a month before it comes out, you know, if they don't just straight up say, "Oh, you know, this is the DLC. This is everything that's going to be in it." You know, maybe they just kind of tease it a little bit and say that there will be a DLC. Not only does it give us a little bit of information, a little bit of, I guess you could say, uh, faith in Rockstar on what they're going to be releasing, that they will be releasing something in this month, but it also just kind of, you know, it just generates a little bit more hype, and I would really like to see that. People speculating on what it could be. I really like doing that, and I think a lot of people like doing that in the community. Also, in here, they also talk about uh, Heist, which is kind of funny because, you know, they got delayed afterwards, but, um, you know, they, they just t mentioned so much stuff. And also in this post, and another thing that I think Rockstar should start doing again, is they were kind of talking about, uh, you know, putting in these updates based on people's feedback. So, you know, these were sort of, uh, you know, patch notes that they were talking about. 
So in one of these was uh, back in the day, and you may not remember this uh, if you didn't play, but back in the day, Rockstar basically messed up stunting for GTA. If you were on a bike, you could sort of lean back, and I'm pretty sure you can still do this today. If you lean back, you go a little bit further. And back in the day, they actually patched this in, I believe, the business update, making it so that you could not do it. And a lot of people were complaining back then, and they eventually fixed it. And, you know, they said that they were going to fix it in this update. And I don't know if it was fixed the day that they put out this newswire post, but it still gave us confirmation that, yes, it will eventually be fixed, probably in the next update. They don't do that anymore, and I, I wish that they would do it. Because, let's say, back, back in the day, uh, almost a, probably about a year ago, actually, uh, Rockstar did, they messed up the game to have sort of this scarecrow glitch. Now, I made a video a pretty long time ago about this, but it was basically a glitch where whenever you're doing any sort of PvP combat, uh, if you were aiming at somebody, they would sort of just do this weird animation where they had, like, their arms up, uh, you know, their legs would be, you know, it was sort of like a default image or something like that. Like, if you had, like, a default pose for GTA, like, from your character, that's what it was. But they would still be moving, they would be flying around, they would even sometimes teleport. Um, if you want to see what I'm talking about, I have a video on it. And it was kind of weird how, how it happened. But, yeah, you know, and that took a little bit, you know, to fix it. It took about a few weeks to fix it, but they did eventually fix it. But they never told anybody that they were going to fix it. You know, we even have to talk about the creator problem uh, that has been going on since uh, Lowriders Custom Classics. They have not mentioned it publicly. The only w the only way that they published it, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically in uh, Lowriders Custom Classics, they uh, made a change where whenever you're in the creator, uh, if you place too many props in one area, then it will just kind of say, no, you can't place any more props, there's too many here. Rockstar has said on their support page that they will fix this, but they never said it on the newswire, so a lot of people still think, you know, since not many people actually check the support page, and with good reason, you know, only some people know that this is going to be patched, and people are still complaining about it today. And it's kind of like, well, if they mention it on a newswire post, something like this, you know, whenever they were mentioning, like, announcing the tornado or the minivan or something, then so many people would have had that confirmation that, yes, it will be fixed eventually. Very minor parts of the community actually check the support page. I would have known about it if, you know, somebody I follow on Twitter doesn't tweet about it. You know, there wasn't, like, this actual, you know, confirmation from Rockstar on their newswire. A lot of people check the newswire, but they don't give that much information about the game and about future updates on the newswire, at least, you know, before it comes out. And then they also talk about in this post, you know, uh, the addition of non-contact op options for racing. And they talk about how that was going to be added. They also talk about uh, how players will be able to call Lester uh, and, you know, bribe cops and stuff. And then they also say uh, as a reward for players who leave feedback on jobs, there will be bonus RP granted every time a player likes or dislikes content after playing it. You know, they also say GTA uh, money payouts will be increased when completing jobs with less than four players. And they also talk about how cheaters were going to get banned a little bit, and they are going to be, uh, you know, patching a few RP exploits and stuff. There's so many different changes, and they don't mention these, and I wish that Rockstar would do this. I know this is a little bit of a rant, but it's more of just something I would love Rockstar to do. And I don't know if they ever will, but I feel like they could just mention some of this stuff. They have kind of done this in the past as well. I, I remember back to the Free Mode Events update, they had like an interview with Imran Sarwar, who I believe is one of the designers on the game. I'm not sure his exact position, but he, he's somebody that works at Rockstar, and he's a, you know, he's pretty public about like interviews and stuff. And he talked about how, you know, people wanted apartment customization and stuff like that. And I just love looking at that kind of stuff because it lets us know, as a community, what Rockstar is doing about the game. They don't do this anymore, at least not often. I wish they would do it so much more because it just, you know, I'm not saying Rockstar, you know, every, you know, season needs to say, oh, you know, this is what the DLC is coming out. This is, you know, exactly what we're going to be patching and stuff. But I just want them to be a little bit more public. And people have been, you know, talking about this for a long time. But I, I just wish that Rockstar would be a little bit more public about this. I'm not saying they should tell us, you know, all their secrets, but I just want something... Just something, you know, something where it gives us a little bit more confirmation. It, it lets us have a little bit more faith in Rockstar because I feel it's a win-win for Rockstar because really, 
Like, sure, if they announce a DLC only, like, a week before it comes out, sure, maybe the hype doesn't have time to die down, but at the same time, like, I feel like, you know, it just doesn't give people enough time to actually go and, you know, uh, you know, make plans for the DLC, I guess. Maybe that's why. Maybe they don't want people to have time to, you know, actually, you know, get money in GTA Online for the DLC. Maybe that's why. I I'm not sure, though. Honestly, all I want to say... But pretty much the point of this video is to just talk about this. If you want to check out the post, it's a long time ago, so all the stuff that was detailed in there is old. But, you know, it just gives you a little bit of a, I, I guess you could say, image for Rock, what Rockstar could do in the future. Because I, I just really want Rockstar to do this in the future, you know. Let's say they put out a DLC, and let's say they put out a Newswire, and they just say, hey, you know, there's uh, something new coming out for GTA Online. And we are very excited to, you know, talk about it and uh, look out on the newswire in the next couple weeks for more information on it. I wish that they would do that. But anyways, leave me your thoughts on this in the comments. Do you think that Rockstar should do this? Or do you think that you like it to be a little bit more of a surprise and you don't like that information to be out there too long and you just like it how Rockstar is doing it right now? Anyways, let me your thoughts on this in the comments. Hope you enjoy. Feedback is always personal. I'll see you guys in the next video.